Mm. All right, guys. It is a gloomy but pleasant but soon to be stormy. They're talking hail storms and tornadoes heading here into the isolation chamber of Garfield, Texas here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on Saturday, April 11th, 2020. And I am Sam Mitchell and this is my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza, not Poncho, Sancho with an S, Panza. Uh, bringing you what is supposed to be today's chronicle of the collapse. But guys, this will be a pretty short chronicle because there is no chronicle of the collapse. It has finally happened. It, it has finally happened, guys. I have spent the past two and a half hours, I have gone through every single story on Yahoo News, both the main headlines and the science headlines. I went over to Google News, went from the main headlines to the science headlines. I got really desperate. I went over to NPR. Uh, good Lord, uh, this shows you my desperation. Uh, went through every one of their headlines. I went over to my two standbys for Chronicles of the Collapse are always Counterpunch and Common Dreams. That somewhere on Counterpunch or Common Dreams, I am going to find one article about the collapse of this planet. One article uh, worth mentioning on the mainstream media, the alternative media. Now, I didn't go on to Fox News. Maybe I should have gone to Fox News to, to look for any sort, you know, one story about uh, environmental, you know, environmental ecological news. It is the, the environment has not just been, uh, I mean, I sound like a broken record, environmental, ecological uh, news has been completely obliterated off of the media. And I'm putting the blame as much on the, quote, alternative media here as much as I am the mainstream media. Uh, the, the editors and publishers of the mass media, this is, I, I have never encountered anything like this in my entire life. I, I, not anything close to this. On, uh, on September 12th, 2001, I bet you could have gone on the mainstream media and found some other thing to talk about than the 9-11 attacks. It has been uh, whatever is truly going on on this planet, uh, the media needs to be ashamed of itself. I'm not just talking the the wall-to-wall, 24-hour fear-mongering, uh, but just how they have pushed every other story on this planet just completely uh, gotten rid of it. Uh, you cannot get a, an article it, 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 if you're writing an environmental, an environment story uh, on this planet anymore, it, it's just not going to get published. You know, uh, Manga Bay, I did my roundup yesterday. Manga Bay, this is a bagworm climbing up the camera, if you're wondering what this is in the side of the, the field here. Goddamn bagworms. It's like a locust invasion around here. Uh... Where was I? Yeah, Manga Bay yesterday. Half of their stories were on uh, the, the damn C word. Now, to their credit, a lot of the stories on the C word were about how uh, the corona panic is bad for our, our fellow earthlings. Uh, so I even went over to Audubon Magazine. Uh, Audubon Magazine. 
uh, every single article pretty much about the C word. And again, to their credit, uh, a lot of the articles in Audubon, and probably this is true with, with more and more of these in mainstream environmental publications, uh, just uh, is at least, at least in their coverage of the uh, corona panic, at least the environmental media is already backing off of this crap uh, about how uh, coronavirus is good for the planet. There is a small temporary silver lining, but with each passing day, more and more of, uh, of these in mainstream environmental uh, magazines are, you, you know, are getting serious about this and talking about how uh, the, 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 the this this lockdown of everything. One of one of the major groups of people being locked down, uh, you know, are people doing climate change research and uh, biodiversity crisis research. You know, Audubon magazine was talking about. Uh, you know, they, they we can't even we can't even you know do the annual bird census this year. We don't even there's, we're not even going to know in the year 2020 uh, how many birds are uh, are, are flying around. Uh, so at least they do that. National Geographic, uh, to their credit. Last night did a uh, did a, a a story that has already been covered elsewhere on the Doomosphere. <coughs> uh, we don't need to go into that. Uh, there is there's some other uh, loudmouth doomer out there talking about. Uh, who's been talking about this week uh, about how the lockdowns in sub-Saharan Africa, what you're going to see are going to be an explosion of poaching of wildlife. This was the story on National Geographic. How, you know, when you tell a billion people that they don't have a right to go out and, and look for food, we're already seeing food riots today in Kenya. And this is, a, this, this is basic math, that where do you think people in Africa are going to start looking for food? In, in all of the national parks and game reserves, uh, as you're getting ready to see what could quite easily turn into the, the biggest megafaunal extinction of our fellow earthlings uh, in 12,000 years. So at least the, the environmental news uh, is talking about, uh, you know, the bottom line when I interviewed uh, Derek Jensen recently. Uh, the bottom line is that humanity, more people are going to come out of this episode hating nature than loving it. Uh, nature will be more despised by more humans at the end of this than at the beginning. Uh, anybody at this point thinking uh, but because, uh, y y you know, there's some, and, and good for the, uh, the dolphins splashing around the canals in Venice and that there's some, uh, some blue sky in Delhi, India, uh, you know, that, great. Uh, but anybody who thinks that the net effect of the corona panic is going to be good for this planet, uh, you do need to get a reality check. And so I do thank uh, Manga Bay, Audubon Magazine, National Geographic Magazine for pointing out all of the ways that the, uh, the Orwellian police state lockdowns going on all over this planet will be bad news for the planet 
and uh, our fellow Earthlings. Uh, so we do have that, but then, so what is that? Is that Corona Panic Chronicle, or is it, uh, or is it a Collapse Chronicle? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it's getting a little bit mixed up there, but you simply uh, cannot, you cannot it, it get a, an environmental story, a, a, any story uh, about uh, economic collapse. I mean, climate change has completely disappeared as a subject. The sixth mass extinction, forget it. Uh, there is one story on this planet that the mass media is running, so your only chance of, of getting uh, any sort of environmental news published is to put a coronavirus angle in it. Uh, you know, no matter how ridiculous, uh, if you cannot find a way to put the, the coronavirus into your environmental reporting, it ain't getting reported, it's not getting published. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure somewhere, and you know, and, and usually you guys, uh, I, I can count on you guys. Uh, I would say 25 articles I went in. Uh, now, now, I, I I'm going to put a tiny asterisk if you're someone who sent me an article that you consider was a, a collapse chronicle article that wasn't about the C word. Okay, I, I, did, I, I did get a couple of articles from you folks, and, and I do appreciate it and keep them coming, and there were a couple of articles, usually these Klingons that were written uh, before, uh, you know, you know, six weeks, the, the, the articles that are still hanging on in the bottom of the mainstream media science pages, there are still a few that most of them were written before the, before the corona panic. They had already gone to press. There's a few of those, and uh, you know, Kim, I know you sent me an article about the the world's oceans being, uh, you know, hotter in 2019 uh, than in history. I've already done this. That article you sent me was from January the 20th. Uh, I already did that, and so I mean, I have received a few stories. But they're very, you know, they're they're not they 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 don't make the cut about a collapse chronicle. Uh, there are a few uh, stories out there, but they're not germane to what I talk about here, which is you know the collapse of a planet. Uh, it, it's just gone, gone. Uh, I might as well put this, I, I'm actually thinking, guys, uh, you know, May 3rd is the uh, second anniversary of uh, Collapse Chronicles, and I'm just thinking uh, of putting it on ice for a few months and letting this blow over. What do you guys think? Should I, put, should I just put this channel on ice? I'm about this far away from it. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm doing these Corona Panic uh, chronicles because there's nothing else to talk about. Uh, I'm quickly getting bored with myself. Uh, and, and you guys, uh, I think you know my opinion. I noticed six more subscribers I have lost today. I have lost, I have lost more subscribers in the past month than I think I have gained. It's about even for every for every new subscriber I've had, I've had other people leave 
because they're sick of, uh, they're either sick of me just talking about coronavirus or more likely they're sick of hearing my opinion of it that the, uh, the cure is worse than the disease and that we are, uh, we're swatting mosquitoes with a sledgehammer. I've made my point. So I can come on here uh, day after day and, 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 and piss people off and rile up the trolls uh, about they don't want to hear my opinion. So they, they unsubscribe from the channel but because of this pointless debate we're having. And, and, and I'm losing subscribers here. People come here to hear, uh, to, to hear uh, articles about the collapse of a planet. And uh, the corona panic has virtually nothing to do uh, with the collapse of a planet. Uh, now, it certainly has to do with the collapse of a global industrial economy. And the civilization is in the middle. But, you know, what I talk about, what I prefer to talk about here is the deep end. The deep end of the... Uh, of the doomsday prophecy pool, as I call it, and coronavirus is not in the deep end, okay? It's in the kiddie pool. Uh, but I just lost another subscriber by saying that, that the coronavirus is in the kiddie pool of the, uh, of the doomsday prophecy pool. It has nothing to do uh, with what's going on uh, on this planet. It is, it is the single biggest distraction, certainly in my 60 years. Uh, and and the, the fear stream media, uh, and I'm talking the mainstream and the alternative, need, need to get, uh, they, they need to get slapped. We, we have a complete a complete blockout of every other story about what is unfolding on this planet that does make a difference to the collapse of this planet. And uh, anyway, so there's a pretty good chance that uh, on May 3rd, I'm just going to shut this channel down uh, and, and, until this crap blows over. I'm as bored with it as you are. Anywho's, but the old apocaloptimist needs to get uh, back to his open house. Uh, I actually had someone show up at the open house, and you know what? Come on, stop! You're thinking, no. They went on. I actually had one person show up at the open house today. Wish me luck. And seriously, let me know. I mean, I, I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear from you trolls. I want to hear, you, you know, for, uh, I, I want to hear from both sides. Uh, do you want me to shut this channel down until this shit blows over or not? Uh, just let me know. I mean, if, if, if I'm sitting here talking to myself, I notice, you know, my numbers or about, they've fallen by about a third. Um, the views on my videos, both the Corona Panic and the Collapse Chronicles, are running about, I would say, 30 to 40 percent drop in uh, viewership. Uh, I'm talking about numbers of views per video are down 30 to 40 percent. Needless to say, donations to my channel have completely, uh, have completely evaporated. I am making less money on Patreon now than I was a month ago, and that's hard to do. But anybody, the, the, the few of you uh, left in uh, the Patreon uh, club here on Collapse Chronicles, Sancho and I really do appreciate it particularly since we're not going to be selling this house. Uh, we do appreciate the support, what's left of it, but uh, 
this might be the final days of this little uh, adventure on it. I, I won't shut it down for I'll probably keep going with the uh, with the interviews. Uh, I'll do I'll keep up with the manga Bay news and the uh, and the interviews they might not be every week until this crap blows over. I'm just I'm sick and tired of this crap. You don't need to come over here to this channel uh, to hear more of this C-word crap. You've made up your mind. You've made up your mind. Uh, you you think the you think this is the single biggest threat to uh, humanity uh, and this planet, or you don't. You think. Uh, you think my opinions, uh, you either agree with me or you don't. There's nothing I'm going to say to you. There's no article I'm going to set up here that reflect my opinion. That's going to change anybody's opinion. All it's going to do is rile up the trolls and get people to, uh, uh, to cancel their uh, subscription. So why am I doing it? There's no point in it. Maybe I'll just wrap this damn channel up right now. How about that for an idea? Sancho says, that's the best idea I have heard all day, Pop, because I am uh, sick of this. Bye, guys.